Hello guys and welcome back to another video. This video is just showing you all the different paintings and drawings that I've done over the last week or so. I haven't been very consistent in my drawing or painting um, because I actually had to have 10 days um, lockdown indoors because I actually contracted Covid. Um, I'm absolutely fine. I had a bit of a sore throat and a little bit of fever for a couple of days but I consider myself very lucky and fortunate that I was okay. Um, but now um, my self-isolation is over and I'm allowed to go outside, which is fantastic. So whilst I was um, indoors all day, um, I managed to do a few drawings, um, but I don't know, I was feeling a bit run down I suppose because of the virus but um watched a hell of a lot of TV which you'll hear in some of these recordings that I'll show you. Um a lot of them were Marvel movies. I didn't really pick them but you know <laughs> So this one I'm drawing is um one of my favourite uh breeds of dog, uh Cocker Spaniel. I just think they're so beautiful. I just love their long floppy ears and I love the chocolate Cocker Spaniels too. Um it's just a picture I found online um, and I'm actually also working on painting on smaller uh, sizes so this size I'm painting on is A6 which is half of A5 if you know what that size is um, and it's a bit of a challenge because it's um, I find it more difficult to add in detail when I've got a smaller surface to paint on although I think it's so cute having these little paintings on smaller bits of paper but there's a Cocker Spaniel I'm um, really happy with the result actually. I love those dogs. They're so cool. Uh, so yeah, and that's my water palette and my view from my desk, which is fantastic, right? <laughs> So this is a little chicken I drew on a very small bit of paper, which I think is even smaller than A6. Um, struggled with adding a detail on this because it's actually very, very small. Um, but I do like the end result, and I actually did also colour in the background. Um, but I, for some reason, didn't film that. Um, but I used some masking tape, so it's a really nice little border. Um, here's a picture of it now. Um, but yeah, it was... Uh, it was uh, good but difficult because it was so small. I was trying to use my smaller paintbrushes but I do wish I used some colouring pencil just adding a little bit more detail. In hindsight that's probably what I would have done.
So I asked my fellows on Instagram what topic, what theme should I paint next. I have four pieces of small paper and I want to paint something that has a common theme. And I was really struggling with ideas but people came up with some fantastic ideas. And one of them, well a lot of them, were related to winter. So I thought, why not do um, Arctic animals? And there were quite a few animals in, that live in the Arctic that I thought I'd love to paint them. So I'll be doing four animals from the Arctic. They are uh, Arctic hare, which I'm drawing right now, um, a walrus, a killer whale, also known as an orca, and an an <laughs> an Arctic tern, which is a really small bird. So one of another topic someone suggested was birds. I was like, yes, I'd love to paint four birds. Um, but I thought I should probably do something different as I'm trying to learn and grow still. But I got away and I'm painting one bird, but it is an Arctic animal, so it counts, right? Anyway, yeah. So I hope you enjoyed the rest of this video of me drawing each of the Arctic animals. Um, I have yet to paint them. And I will show you my painting of these animals in the next video. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and enjoy the rest of the video. Bye. Time travel here. Either it's all a joke or none of it.